Dominica is blazing a trail across the Caribbean in renewable energy, which it hopes to export to neighbouring countries. It is also creating jobs for both local and foreign workers in real estate construction projects. As well as trading with Caribbean neighbours, the country is attracting investment from as far afield as China. These regional and global relations are overseen by Francine Barron, Minister for Foreign and CARICOM Affairs. So much of the labor is sourced locally. However, um, there isn't sufficient skilled labor on island to do the projects in a timely manner. So persons are brought in from overseas uh, to, to assist with the project. Um, we try as much as possible and, and part of the agreement with a developer is that they must have a um, certain percentage of local labor in, involved in the project because we want to make sure that these projects um, benefit the, the economy as much as possible. You're going to have jobs in the hospitality aspect of the, of the um, business and uh, providing jobs for persons to as fr front room um, staff, as waiters, as restauranters, as um, it will provide jobs for our fishermen or farmers, uh, for our hair braiders or spas or restaurants. So it's going to have a significant impact on the community. How important is Chinese money for your country's redevelopment? Uh, we have very good friendly relationships with the People's Republic of China and they have been very supportive of our development efforts and one of the projects that they have agreed to finance and have been financing is the a new hospital for um, Dominica. Whilst we would like to welcome as many new citizens as possible, we also want to ensure that these citizens will not be em a, a source of embarrassment to the country and therefore we have to ensure that proper due diligence uh, checks are done on those persons. We have reputable agencies who are involved in conducting due diligence checks. There has been an agreement and a commitment by the um, Caribbean governments to work together in respect of um, the, the process for the CBI programs. We were able to use funding from the, um, the Citizenship by Investment um, funds to build an entirely new community for the pitted Savan community because they um, their community was completely devastated by tropical, tropical storm Erica. And um, uh, we have since, since then, um, we have had most of the community relocated to Bellevue Chopin. And the, the buildings that we have constructed have shown themselves to be climate resilient because although they were not finished when Hurricane Maria hit us in 2017, the, the buildings that were already standing stood up to the might of the Category 5 Hurricane Maria. Um, and so that is a clear um, indication of how we can utilize the funds from the program for the benefit of our citizens. So initially we start off, every house we're building is reinforced concrete. The walls are reinforced concrete. The roof underneath the roof sheeting is reinforced concrete. We have seismic proof foundations. We have hurricane proof doors. We have hurricane proof windows. These structures will last for the foreseeable future. I mean, I was, they're concrete and they're going nowhere. And I always say to people, when people say about concrete, the Parthenon was built out of reinforced concrete and it's still there 2,000 years later. <laughs> 